Two massive names in Serie A right now. Mm. He scored in 10 consecutive league games under a one-off Batistuta's record. He got a goal in the derby at the weekend and could have made it two. They face off in the cup. Now, I'm not going to go down the hole who's best, right? How close at his best did he get to him at his best? Very. And, and listen, I, I understand this is all relative, right? In today's football, there's a head table. That's only got two seats. <laughs> Good point. Well now said. Lou and Messi yeah. sitting at that table. Yeah. And then there's a bigger second table. That I, I think, listen, just thinking about this off the top of my head, I think Ibrahimovic probably gets first choice of those seats. A player still, a player's currently playing right okay. now. Yeah. The, I mean, the other people on that table are the likes of Neymar. Is he allowing anybody else at his table? Well, he'll probably have a few, <laughs> have a few chairs, take a few, you know, have a few extra bread rolls. But at that table, you probably have the likes of, of Neymar, Mbappe, Mbappe. Uh, Any of the boys at Liverpool? A few of the boys yeah, at Liverpool. Surely. But I, I, I don't think, I don't think anybody, and, and listen, I understand. Right, some of them, Mbappe included, they're still very early in, the, in their careers, so it's, it's a lot to ask them to stack up in terms of what Ibrahimovic has done over the course of his. Mm -hmm. But I think Ibrahimovic gets the first choice. Okay, let's take a look at some of the stats from their careers. Zlatan's 38 now, and mm -hmm. Ronaldo's just turned 35. Now, I know he scored a lot more goals, Ronaldo, than, mm -hmm. than Ibrahimovic, and he's only one off the ton internationally as well. But in 20, 25 years, how will Zlatan be remembered? We'll always talk about Cristiano Ronaldo against Messi. How, how will people talk about Zlatan? Zlatan, I, I, in, in my opinion, will always be, re be remembered as one of the greats. Okay. And, and listen, as colorful a character as he is, as egocentric as, as, as he is, even when you, you look at his numbers, I think one of the things you, you have to, to put into perspective is that he went, what, 10 seasons in a row where he won the league title, and I know he was stripped of a couple of, at Juventus, but, but that takes some doing to be part of a team and every team that con and, and contribute significantly and go on to win titles. Because ultimately, this is a team game. And when your team wins 10 titles in a row, and I think the season before, um, the, the season before that run, I think Malmo finished second in, in, in Sweden. So it's, it's, it's a hell of a run. And I, for, I, I always come back to this, that I always look at what teams have done first. And there is nobody, but nobody can stack up with, with that. And that, that, that has to earn a, a certain amount of respect mm -hmm. yeah. that I'm not sure nobody else, anybody else matches up to. You talk about achievements for, for, for Zlatan. I mean, his achievements are phenomenal, but his, yeah. his achievements. He was at Milan, mm -hmm. okay, for, it was half a season on loan, then a couple of years. And he's still the decade's top scorer from the previous decade. Yeah. But he never won the Coppa Italia with them. Mm -hmm. They haven't won it since 2003. They won it in 2018. So this is a big, this is the first leg of this one. He didn't come to Milan just to kind of, no. he came to win stuff. And he's not going to win the Scudetto this year. Yeah. Coppa Italia, how big a game is that for, for Zlatan against I, I, Ronaldo? I, I think stars? this is a, a big game for both. For, for both players and both clubs. And now we, we can talk about Juventus and their run in Syria uh, and why Ronaldo was, was, was brought to the club. And it's not to win Coppa Italia, let's be honest. At the same time, Zlatan has brought in, I'm not sure with an eye to win the silverware this year, but certainly to transform AC Milan and, and reverse their, their own fortunes. And now, give that bigger, bigger picture for, for both these mm -hmm. players and, and those clubs. Given what you've seen in the short term, in their results on, on the weekend, disappointing losses for both. How do you respond? Now, I, I, I am really keen to see how, how this one plays out because Latan loves the attention. Yeah. I, I think he is best equipped to carry this Milan team. At the same time with Juventus, as good a run as, as Ronaldo has been on individually, and you mentioned his, his yep. scoring, I think Sarri still hasn't figured out who his best 11 is, what his best starting formation is. They're talking about Allegri even going back. I, 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 there are lots of questions. In a, in a tightening Serie A race that's mm -hmm. seen Juventus second, orbit and goal difference. Now, again, who, who wins Serie A is, is, a, is another discussion. But I think it's an opportunity for Milan to re and Zlatan to really put a marker down, albeit in the first leg. Right now, I'm, I'm leaning AC Milan to get a first leg win. 
but I'm going to lean Juventus to go through over two. Okay, finally, quickly, you talked about this head table with Messi and, and Ronaldo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's only one seat at the head table of self-confidence. Is it him? Oh, yeah. Or is it him? Um, self-confidence, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go Ronaldo. Really? Yes. I, I don't know if there's a wrong answer. No, there, there isn't. I, I think... They're not shy. No, no, they're not <laughs> shy. Certainly in terms of non-shyness, Zlatan wins. And listen, I, I, I'm not sure anybody's ever described Ronaldo as having an ounce of shyness either. But I, I just feel that his confidence... Who leaves a team like Real Madrid after winning three European titles... Fair on the spell because he feels there's another challenge out there for him at the age that he did. <laughs> that, that takes some, some doing, so I'm just leaning Ronaldo. Okay, looking forward to the Coppa Italia semi-finals. They're all on ESPN Plus if you're in the United States. Enjoy them. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.